lots of us see alerts about alt text that we should be using when we're optimizing the pages on our websites. We don't always know what to do with that alt text or even exactly what it is. So this video is all about unlocking the power of alt text, which is a small but mighty element of search engine optimization. I'm your host, Vicky Edrington from The Website Mentor. And in this conversation, we're going to talk about how you can explore how to boost your website search engine rankings and make your site more accessible to all users. So what exactly is alt text? Think of it as the unsung hero of your website's images. Alt text, which is short for alternative text, is like a little description that you add to an image when you upload it to your site. It's also known as an alt description or an alt tag. So now you might be wondering, why is alt text even there? Initially, it used to serve as a backup plan. So if an image failed to load on a site, the alt text would step in and give the users a glimpse of what it was missing. Not quite the same as seeing the original image, but it's less than nothing. And then over time, alt text has evolved to serve a few crucial purposes. Firstly, it's a lifeline for visually impaired visitors who rely on screen reading tools to navigate websites. These tools read aloud the content on the screen, including alt text, to provide a complete experience. Secondly, alt text played a vital role in search engine optimization, sometimes what we refer to as SEO. Search engines like Google use alt text when they crawl your website to understand what each page is about. Plus, images can show up in search engines if their alt text manages relevant search terms. So, is it important? Absolutely, it's essential for so many reasons. Firstly, alt text ensures that your website is accessible to everybody. So if you imagine a visually impaired user missing out on valuable information because of a missing alt text, it might be that you have an image which is a call to action to download a free resource. Then if they don't read it, then they're not able to understand exactly what the meaning of that image is. And not only does this compromise their experience, but it also means that you're missing out on potential conversions. Secondly, your alt text improves your website's crawlability. Search engines rely on alt text to understand image content. So if you don't provide it, you're not only missing an SEO opportunity, but you're potentially hindering your website's rankings. And thirdly, alt text helps your images appear in image search results, which count for a significant portion of online searches. So without alt text, your website is at a disadvantage. So now that we are starting to understand the importance of alt text, let's dive into how you can write it effectively. So the first rule is quality over quantity. Avoid keyword stuffing and aim for a balanced descriptive alt text that makes sense both for accessibility and SEO. So here's an example of the way that you should be doing it. Let's say you have an image of a Starbucks disposable cup. Your alt text may say freshly roasted coffee takeaway disposable cup but you can do better than that. Here's a better description that is more specific and more descriptive. Starbucks coffee in a disposable takeaway cup on a wooden table. Rule number two, specificity. Be specific in your alt text. Instead of generic descriptions, provide details that help search engines understand your content better. For example, if you're including an image of a football match, you might include the alt text football match at a stadium with lots of fans. But a better and more specific alt text would be Liverpool playing a football match against Manchester United at Anfield with fans holding up scarves. Rule number three, relevance to your site. You can tailor your alt text to your website's content. It gives you more freedom to make the images more relevant. So an example that you could use of an image of two men greeting each other, your alt text may say, two men shaking hands and smiling. But if it's on a web design networking site, you can make it more relevant. It could be two web design professionals meeting and shaking hands at a networking event. So there you have it. You are now equipped with the knowledge and skills to master your alt text for your website. Remember, it's not just about SEO. It's about accessibility and providing the best user experience possible. And if you're hungry for more website tips and resources, be sure to check out our other guides, such as why you should optimize your images for WordPress and how to do it and definitely download the checklist, which is linked in the description below and subscribe to this channel and ring the little bell so that you'll get notified of any further videos. Thanks for joining me today on this alt text adventure. Until next time, keep making your website better one alt text at a time.